It is with great delight I come your way today, thanking God for the privilege to see a new day. It is not a doing of man, but it is God's doing, and it is marvelous in our sight. Welcome to an uncommon account of Easter part 2. As we look into the event of Easter and some lessons we can get out of it to uplift us in our journey as believers. I pray to this edition we bring blessings into our lives and that which God has proposed to bless us with will locate us in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. We begin today by looking at Matthew chapter 27 verse 32. It is recorded, and as they came out, they found a man of Syrian, Simeon by name, him they compared to bear his cross. And as they came out, oh my God, where were they coming from? If we consider the verses before verse 32, we were told Jesus was taken to Pontius Pilate. And after that encounter, he was taken to a common hall where they flogged him and made jest of him. They ridiculed him and did all manner of things unto him as they chose. And when they were done with all this, they decided to take him to the place of crucifixion. The Lord wants me to say to somebody today, no matter the unpalatable situation you find yourself, no matter the controversial conditions that you find yourself today, you are coming out. Life is a journey. You were not made to stay in that place. Listen to me, child of God. Even Job, when he was being encouraged to curse God and die by his beloved wife, he said, no, with my eyes I will see the Lord. Hear me, hear me well. That condition was not meant to chop you forever. That condition was not orchestrated to terminate you. You are coming out unto him that believe the scriptures and all things are possible. Psalms 23 verse 4, the Bible says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. No matter where you are, Jesus was taken to Pontius Pilate. He was taken to the common hall. And they came out. Life is a journey. No matter where you find yourself, it is time to move to another level. As many that may have been stagnated in life, the power of Easter is locating us today and causing us to have a change of story in the name of Jesus. Oh my God, I will fear no evil. Give no room to fear. Give no room to doubt. He said, because thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me no matter how dark your situation is. David said, even the darkest dark is as light before the God we serve. And as they came out, there's a time to go in and there's a time to come out. There's a time to be down and there's a time to be up. Ecclesiastes 3 said, there's a time for everything. Second Corinthians chapter 12 verse 9 said, And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Child of God, no matter what you are going through, Jesus is saying, Makayata, Makupayata, unto you today, you can come out unto him that believed the power of life and death is in the tongue. When some persons find themselves in some problems, when some persons find themselves in some controversial situation, they begin to wail, they begin to shout. Some persons, when they have a bad dream, they wake up shouting all manner of things, forgetting that there is power in the name of Jesus to break every yoke. We be made door for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Our text today, Matthew 27, 32 said, And as they came 
out hear me and hear me well you are coming out no matter the trap that has been planted against you no matter what has been concocted against you by the hand of God today by the power of his time every cancel of a heat of faith is converted to foolishness in the name of Jesus and as they came out they found a man of Sarah they found a man oh my god they found it didn't say they saw a man they found a man there were many men there but they found a man they decided to choose a man the purpose of them finding a man was to enable the man bear the cross of jesus so they could have been weak men there they would have Examine this man by his touch on height, knowing that he had his strength and capacity to help Jesus bear his cross. They found because they looked for, they sought for, they did not pick at random. Hear me, child of God. Matthew 7 7 says, Ask and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Seek, seek. They found a man because they decided to seek. Verse 8 said, For everyone that asks it, receive it, and everyone that seeketh it, find it. My God, my God, they decided to find. It is an error to live a life of no discovery. What have you found? What have you discovered? Many persons are complaining about the issues that they are going through. They've not taken time to find the way out. They've not taken time to look for the solution to their problem. They base their lives on suggestions of men instead of taking time to discover. Where there is no discovery, there will be misery. My God, the success of our life is based on what we have found and who we have found. Hear me, hear me well. Any man that succeeds, succeeds because of who he has found are because of what he has found. What you find will determine whether your life will be fine. My God, what have you found? What have you discovered? Somebody said, when there's no discovery, there cannot be recovery. They found a man. It is time we begin a search. Scripture says, study to show thyself approved. What's your situation? is suggesting to you may be a lie. What your friends are suggesting to you may be a lie. What has God said in his word? The Lord is saying to somebody today, it is time to go on the search. Somebody said, when you are in doubt, find out. I believe God's word is for somebody today. For that situation that does not make sense. For that condition that has refused to improve for the better. It is that we find out what is lacking in our lives. Who is lacking in our lives. When we find <laughs> what it is that is missing in our lives. You will discover that every that we have been praying for we begin to fall in place many prayer requests we have been jumping with from one place to the other may be as a result of what we have not found and who we have not found when we find the right person solution comes and when we find what has been missing joy and peace will be restored I pray today that by the hand of God that is resting upon our lives we will be empowered to move from where we are that is not desirable to move from where we are that is not comfortable to the place God has programmed for us and I pray that as we go out on our assignment and daily routine we will be given the grace to find that which is supposed to be us in the name of Jesus your day is blessed 
If you've not given your life to Christ, you cannot migrate from the region of low concentration <laughs> to the region of higher concentration in salvation. No. Please say with me today. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe you died and rose again from my sin. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Read. Reign in me supremely. Give me the grace to serve you all the days of my life. In Jesus, my name we pray. Amen. Oh Lord, we pray for the land of a touch state. We pray for the land of Nigeria. We pray for the continent of Africa and for the world at large. Cause your word to have recourse in the name of Jesus. And let the rod of the wicked not rest upon that of the righteous. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Your day is blessed. Don't forget, it will come your way again. You are not a low ranger. You are a high flyer. You are not a local champion. You are a global wonder. Your condition is not your conclusion. Come on, give God praise. Hallelujah. Amen.